Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week, where every week I try my very best to pick you out a beautiful maths question which has been kindly provided for diagnostic questions by Edexcel, AQA and OCR, and which is designed to help you prepare as best as you humanly possibly can for the demands of the GCSE. Now, the reason I've chosen this question is once again because students are having trouble with it. And I think it's a really interesting question. It's just a quick fire one. Essentially, you either know it or you don't. But if we can go through this, it's going to help you tackle any other question like this that you may encounter. So let's take a look. The following, a equals pi r squared is, is it an expression, an equation, a formula, or an identity? Which one is it? Well, we've got a one in four chance, but we don't want to be guessing, do we? We want to know. So I thought probably the best thing to do here was just do a little bit of teaching. I can't help myself. So I'm going to go through what each of these things means, and then that's hopefully going to help us identify which one it is. All right, so let's start with A, an expression. What does it mean when we see expression? Well, an expression the easiest way to spot this is it's a collection of terms and or numbers. You may have numbers in there, but crucially, there's no equal sign. So as an example, you might have something like this. 3x plus 1 is an expression. Uh, a plus 2b minus a plus 6 is an expression. So as long as you've got a letter in there, and you can have more than one letter. You could have a number as well if you want, but you've got to have a letter in there then you've got an expression. So it's a collection of algebraic terms or a single algebraic term, okay? Um, what about B? What is an equation? Now you've known equations all your life probably. They're brilliant. Equations are like expressions, but they have an equal sign. So if I take my first expression, 3x plus one, and all of a sudden I put it equal to seven, well, all of a sudden we have now got an equation that we can then go ahead and solve, okay? Now, you might have two letters in there. So you might have this, 4a minus 3b equals 12. That is an equation as well. It's got that equal sign. Or you might have something like this, 7a plus one equals 4y or for b or whatever and there we've got an equation now we can't go ahead and solve these without any extra information and that's where simultaneous equations come into play but they're equations it's letters equal to something which you're then able to go ahead and solve all right now what the flipping neck is a formula well a formula is kind of like an equation because they have an equal sign in there as well but formulas allow you to work something out. You're not trying to solve something, you're trying to work something out. So a classic example would be this, C equals pi D. That is a formula that allows you to work out the circumference of a circle by substituting things in there. So can you see, it's not like this, where we're solving, we're trying to find out what X is. Here, we can't solve anything. We simply substitute in values. Maybe we know the diameter of the circle. We know what pi is. We substitute that in, and it allows us to work out C without solving. Another one would be this. Area equals base times height over two, the area of a triangle formula. Okay, substituting things in to work things out. And finally, D. D might be the most unfamiliar one to you. What is an identity? Well, an identity also has an equal sign, although sometimes they pop a little extra equals on there, which I'm always a big fan of, and strictly you should do that. And that's where you have something like this. Say I add 3x plus 3 is identical to 3x plus 1. And what that means is it doesn't matter which value of x you choose. You could pick 2, you could pick 26, you could pick minus 5.3 the left-hand side will always be equal to the right-hand side. Now, that's not true of an equation. Of this equation here, there's only one value of x that makes this left-hand side equal to 7. If I put 20 as x, it's not going to be equal to 7. However, if I put 20 as x here, or 50 as x, my left-hand side is always equal to my right-hand side. So if they're always equal to each other, if they're equivalent, algebraic equivalents of each other, then it's an identity. And as I say, it should be symbolized with a triple equal sign. 
Okay, I'll jump. Whilst I'm here, let me show you one other identity, another classic. X squared minus one is always equal to X plus one, X minus one, difference of two squares. They are identical to each other regardless of the value of X. So there's your quick guide through all these different things, um, expression, equation, formula, and identity. So now let's have a look at this guy here. What is E? Well, that, hopefully you recognize, is the way to work out the area of a circle. It is the formula for the area of a circle. If you know what the radius is and you substitute it in, you will get the area of that circle. If you know what the area is and you substitute it in, you can work out the radius. So you're substituting things in to work something out. So it has got to be one of our formulae. Okay. My challenge to you is I often say, um, can you explain where each of the wrong answers have come from? Well, I think we've gone through that here by defining expression, equation, um, formula and identity. So my kind of takeaway challenge is, can you come up with different examples of expressions, equations and identities that you would change this question to so they end up being the correct answer? So how many different expressions can you come up with? Come up with interesting ones. How many different equations can you come up with? And how many different identities can you come up with? The more you get familiar with these, the easier it's going to be for you to spot them. My strong advice would be try the rest of this quiz out. It'll test your basic algebra skills to the absolute limit. And if you still need help on writing expressions and all that kind of stuff, hop on Mr. Barton Maths and you'll find videos, worksheets, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you for a fresh question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.